How's it going, Pumpkinheads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome to Clash of the Monsters. Now, a little backstory on how I actually came across this game. A couple of friends and I were supposed to play Heroes of the Storm one night, and, uh, actually it was Wednesday night, and, uh, that was the night that Blizzard had that DDoS attack because they did something they probably shouldn't have done, but they did it anyway because they can do what they want. Uh, and so we all just decided to start browsing through our other games that we own to play or browse through Steam, and this came across my, uh, featured page on Steam, my Steam dashboard. So, this is interesting to say the least. So, what it is, of course, aside from being a beta game, is a fighting game where you, p you pit monsters or characters from horror games against each other, or from horror movies or whatever against each other. This is... No, it's nothing like Terradrome, if that's what you're thinking. Terradrome is, uh, like, slasher movies and stuff like that. This is horror movies. Let me actually give you a, uh, give you an idea of what, what we're looking at here in terms of monsters. So, we have The Living Dead, of course, a zombie. We have Bones, which is just a skeleton, which in my opinion is the most overpowered character in this game we have the invisible man it's fantastic you can't even see him but hardly but he's there Nosferatu Ichabod Crane slash Van Helsing it's I mean he looks I mean come on the bride of Dracula the headless horseman and somehow or another you're supposed to be able to unlock oh there we go i can just click him cool you can also play as the phantom of the opera but okay it looks like this is what i'm doing now so check this out so you have your standard light punch heavy punch light kick heavy kick and then you have a grab which he seems to be very keen on doing okay he can drop chandelier let me okay never mind I'm okay apparently I can just make him do that okay there we go all right so apparently he has a bite attack interesting so i can drop a chandelier on their head or i can lunge at them and apparently bite them i've never seen phantom of the opera but i don't think that was a thing he was ever able to do so to do the chandelier drop it's a uh, down forward and punch or down forward light punch and then to do the bite it's down forward heavy punch and he is burning some meter right now to try to get me okay it doesn't look like it doesn't look like he has any other attacks except for the chandelier drop and the uh, the bite so of course as I said earlier this game is in beta he is planning on an update soon that will allow for matchmaking yes if you did not see from the uh, from the title area the title screen this game is going to have online so you can you can pit your favorite monsters against each other with 
friends online, and you can actually play online with like with other people who have this game. If you uh, the way they have it set up now is you have to be able you have to basically port forward and give your friends your IP address or whatever to have them do it. I can't do it because of my router setup, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna use all of my meter. Apparently, I don't. I can't use all of my meter. So I was trying to do my super grab, but apparently I can't do that. All right. So Phantom of the Opera. That was that was fun. Now, one thing, if you are actually going to get this game, one thing you need to learn is that for some reason, when they give you the option, every time you start the game, they give you the option of changing your graphics settings and changing your input settings. For some reason, up and down are are flopped around. So that that's something that they need to fix. But of course, as I said before, this is beta. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go with. I'm going to show you guys just how how nuts it is uh, to fight against bones. So I'm going to go. I'm going to be the headless horseman, and we're going to fight against bones. You guys are going to see just how ridiculous this character is. Right now, I can only fight on Sleepy Hollow because, again, beta only one stage. Okay, so real quick, it looks like they may or may not have already had a uh, update or something. So the Headless Horseman can throw out his head as his attack. That is his thing. Okay. Resume the game, thank you. Okay, so just look at just how nuts this skeleton is just going full-on craziness on me but again just like everyone else who plays a fighting game he does not guard the angles I'm just gonna go low just gonna punch him right in his pelvis just right in his pelvis meter burn Throwing out that head. Punch, punch, kick, kick. Ah. Oh, I almost had him. This actually would have been the first time I actually beat this guy. He is a little nuts. So I know that when I picked this, it said arcade mode, but there literally there legitimately is no arcade mode. There's nothing really for this but a versus AI mode and a local or basically f friend peer-to-peer -peer, uh, online system so let's see if I can actually beat this guy I'm gonna just throw meter burn meter burn pumpkins at him look at it there we go these are these are legit stat, uh, strats, and uh, I I expect to see this game at Evo at some point. I want to see I want to see uh, I want to see this uh, rival Street Fighter in terms of fighting games, because holy crap, this is some MLG stuff right now. And uh, of course. Of course, Bones will have to be banned because he is way too OP. He's way too fast. And uh, he'll just make people not want to play the game. There we go. Super grab, ultra combo, headless horseman wins. Bones has been defeated. No one can stand up to the headless horseman. No one can stand up to him. Let's give him another fight. Let's let's do this. Here we go. Headless Horseman. We're going to work our way through this. We're going to work our way through the roster. We got Headless Horseman versus the Living Dead and Sleepy Hollow. Let's do this. 
Headless Horseman versus Zambi. Let's go. Come on. Now, the game itself is not, um, you can't use a controller for it yet. I don't know if he's gonna, if the developer is planning on doing that at some point or what, but uh, right now you cannot use, what is he doing? He's doing like some crazy wave dash nonsense. He's got himself stuck in a weird dodge animation that makes him really hard to hit. So I'm just going to spam my head dokens right at his face. Look at that. Don't try your wave dashing on me. This ain't Smash Brothers. You don't get to wave dash. Look at him. He's doing it again. Countered. MLG Pro Counter Strats. Don't let him get up. Make him take a seat. Man, I don't know what these what what these uh, moves are he's doing with that, but holy crap! Man. Oh boy, it's getting clutch. He's got, he's coming at me. Build up that meter. Let's see if we can get the ultra combo. Can we get that ultra combo? Ultra combo! Down. Headless Horseman wins. Alright, let's go. Come on, keep going. Keep it up. Let's keep the momentum. Headless Horseman versus the Invisible Man. Now this is going to be hard to learn the Invisible Man strats. Because... You can barely see him. So, I'm basically swinging at nothing here, hoping that, I hit, that I'm hitting him. If you look really close, you can kind of see him, but not really. Alright. So, uh, Invisible Man might also get banned at EVO, just because of the fact that he is really too hard to see him. I mean, I would I would like to see some Invisible Man play before he gets before he gets banned to Evo, but I mean I don't know if the judges are gonna allow that. There's gonna be there's just too much too much that he can do with that invisibleness. Or maybe I'm just too OP with Headless Horseman. Maybe Headless Horseman is the one that's going to get banned at EVO. Who knows? Look at this. Three hit combos. It's the highest combo you can basically get right now. Always got to do the jump in, jump in, and then punch him in the face. Punch him in the face and then punch him right in the dick. Face and then dick punch. Back it up, back it up, back it up, and throw. All right, come on. Let's go, Headless Horseman. We got this. We got this. This guy, this invisible man, he ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing. Don't let him. Oh, come on. I was going for the ultra combo. I don't even know what that move is that I keep throwing out the uh, the ultra combo. Literally, they said that it's a it, like you have two throw buttons, I think, or I don't even know. It's just it's weird, but the game itself is interesting, I guess. Like I said, I, I do expect to see this at EVO at some point in time. How, how complex the fighting mechanics are and how diverse the characters are. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. Ultra Combo! And 
And the Headless Horseman wins again. All right, here we go. Headless Horseman versus Nosferatu. Let's go. Let's go, Nosferatu. Not gonna be clicking the lights on and off in the Krusty Krab this time. Bring your A game, let's go. I'm gonna punch you right in your dick and then trip you up. Trip. There you go, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing, Nosferatu. Come on. Get that scrub shit out of my house. Here we go. Here we go. Going in. We're going in. Oh, he's going in. Oh, jeez. We're getting bodied by the vampire. Fix it. We gotta fix this. Let's throw out some... Throw out some stuff. Throw out some stuff. Kick him in the dick. Alright, there we go. Yes! Went in and turned that around. Alright. Round two. Let's go, Nosferatu. You and me. You and me. We got this. Oh, jeez. That five-hit combo. That five-hit combo. How is he doing that five-hit combo? I've only seen at least four on my own self. How? How do you do these things? Teach me your ways, Nosferatu. Why, Sensei Nosferatu, teach me your fighting style. Get tripped up. Oh no! Oh no! All right, come on. We gotta, we gotta take this back. We're not gonna let, we're not gonna let Nosferatu take us out. He's gonna. No, come on, come on, headless horseman. Come on, man. Oh, jeez. Come on, headless horseman. Come on. Don't, don't let this vampire body you. Take him out. Take him out. Go for the knees. Go for the knees. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Spam it. Spam the head. No! Oh no! Oh no! I want that rematch. I want that rematch. Come on. Let's go. Rematch, Nosferatu. You and me. Come on. Headless Horseman and Nosferatu. Going straight for that. Going straight for that dick punch. Straight for the dick punch. Oh dang. Oh jeez, did I just get a five hit combo? I think I did. Oh, stop the presses. The Headless Horseman's able to get five hit combos by punching people in the dick. And tripping him up, throw the head. Throw the head and go in. Oh jeez. Trip him up, back up, and throw the head. Oh jeez, oh jeez. He's going in, he's going in, he's going in. Punch him, punch him in the dick, throw the head. Throw the head. Whoo, that was clutch. That was clutch. Let's try not to make this one that close. Oh jeez, I burned some meter and didn't even mean to. I went to go in for the grab and I accidentally burned a meter throw. Come on. Here we go. Punch, 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 kick. Come on. Now this is this is high level high level Evo play right here. High level dick punching Evo play. Dang. Look at that. Didn't even give me a chance. Didn't even give me a chance to turn that around. It's like the game knows, man. In all honesty, the game might actually know that I'm I am taking a shit on it.
But it might, it could be a good game later on. Never know. The models for the game itself are actually not bad. The models and the, uh, the stages and everything are not bad. It's just, it could use, it could use a little more spit and polish. All right, here we go. Ultra combo! I have been avenged. All right, let's do one more match. One more match to end them all. The rivalry of the century. Headless Horseman versus Ichabod Crane. Here we go. In the place where it all started, Sleepy Hollow. Let's go. The rivalry of the ages. Oh dang. Ichabod. Ichabod. Ichabod taking it to the horseman early. The horseman's not going to stand up to, for this. He's not going to stand for this. I swear to God, if this game, if this game does not end up having a Johnny Depp, Ichabod Crane, and a freaking, uh... Christopher Walken Headless Horseman costume, I will probably riot. Oh no. Oh no. Got me in the corner. Oh. First round to Ichabod Crane. Alright, come on. Come on, Ichabod. You, you, got, you know nothing about the horseman's dick punching strats. As I throw a head as I throw my head right at your dick. Directly aimed for the crotch. Face to crotch style. That is, that is... That is the horseman's fighting style. Fist or face to crotch. It's an advanced martial art. Not very many know about it. Sometimes he jumps in, and that, 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 mixes, that mixes things up a bit. Because the punches go straight for the face and not the crotch. And people aren't, people aren't expecting that. But then, then he immediately ducks down. And immediately, the fist heads straight for the crotch. Backing up, throwing the head right at the dick. All right, here we go. Oh no, I wasted the ultra combo. He saw it coming, but it's too late. He was taken out by a mighty dick punch. All right, so I think that is gonna be it for Clash of Monsters. If you guys wanna take check this out for yourself, it's on Steam free to play. Uh, go check it out, have some fun. Whatever you wanna do with this game, like, uh, hopefully it gets a little more spit and polish later on, and this isn't all that we're going to get. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pumpkin Patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.